Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will create and connect to a Postgres SQL Postgres SQL database with Amazon RDS. Let me tell you if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel that is Usher Cloud Chef, I'll specifically mention the link in the description box of this video. Please go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel known as Usher Cloud Chef. Let's proceed with the video and uh, let me log on to the portal and take it from there. I am inside the portal. In this video, we will see how to create an environment to run the PostgreSQL database. We will connect to the database and then delete the DB instance. So we have logged on to the portal. I am in the RDS console. If you will click on create database here, it will give you the different engines. So I'll scroll down. I'll select PostgreSQL. It has selected the default version itself. Make sure that you are in the right region that you want your database in. I'll select free tier eligible. I'll have the options to select the engine. I'll use this by default. I'm going to the settings. Type in test dash. Dash one, whatever you want to. My username would be at let's post uh, uh, mention the password, whatever you want to, and then if you'll scroll down. You will see different options storage, auto scaling, DB instance identifier, DB instance size. I have selected the default size, allocated storage is also default. Availability and durability, I'm not going on with. I am selecting connectivity with the default VPC. If you want to have a look at additional connectivity configuration, you can have a look at it here. You can make it publicly accessible. If you would not make it publicly accessible, RDS will not assign a public IP to this database and only Amazon EC2 instances and devices inside this VPC in which this PostgreSQL is hosted will only be able to access it. So I'm using the DF by default port is 5432 authentication would be password let's recheck it I'm gonna check the password again all right click on create database database will take some time to get created I'll be back when it is done it is almost done so to connect it I'll use PG admin that I have created. It's launching. I have to make sure that uh, port number 5432 is open at my RDS site for me to connect to this server. That is not a problem. These are the options that you get. So inside servers it is not mentioned. So if you will click here, you don't have to create a server, you have to connect to a server. I already forgotten this password. When you come on dashboard, click on add new server. So this is the name. So if you would go here to your server settings, click on here. This is your endpoint. Click on connection. 5432 save some time if the port 5432 would not be open at my rds site it will not be able to connect and it might give you an error this could not connect so i'll go back here i click on here and then we'll add a rule i did for 3306 i'll add a rule here which says 5432 would 
do it. You should not do it for all, but this is a dev environment, so I'm doing it. Okay. So if you go back, go here, click on here, it should connect now. Let's see. It is connected. So this is my name, and if you will click on database, scroll down. It is my post quiz database here. If you will create a database, you can. It's fetching the database from their name here. You can have a comment here. Create. You can delete drop you can disconnect the server you can black up back up the server and now after doing it the lab you have to delete it select it delete it so that you don't get charged i don't want to create a final snapshot i acknowledge that i want this to delete you can click here delete me so it will give you that it's deleting see that's how you create it, connect to it using PG admin, and then that's how you delete it. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.